Yidashayimase! Hello and welcome to Fataris' Kitchen. I'm your host, Chef Fataris. So, I've been going and talking about Darius Burr's Chronicle Savior for a couple months now, ever since its announcement. And I'm really thrilled to go and be able to go and do a taste test for you today on it. So, I went and picked up the title earlier today, and I've gone and run it through a couple quick tests on my end, just to go and make sure everything goes and works, and I have an idea of more or less what's in the game itself. So, I'm mainly going to go and be showing off AC mode today. So, when I went and fired up the game, it went and assigned me a cabinet, and it assigned me cabinet 52. I have no idea what that goes and means but just in case you're interested. So we're going to go ahead and jump into AC mode, which is essentially the same as the arcade version, another Chronicle EX. So let's get cooking! So today I'm going to go and be showing off the game with a four-player mode. So joining me today are Aubrey. Hello. Dan. Hello. And Sally. Ayo. They'll go and be my partners on this endeavor. So the commentary will go and be a little bit like looser, maybe more fun than my like uh, usual like dry explanations. But I hope you can go and enjoy it all the same. So here we are at the title screen. As you can go and see, this goes and specifically notes it's the 2011, which is when another Chronicle EX one came out version. So we're going to go ahead and press start, and here we've got our mode selection. So there's the original mode, as well as the EX mode. The difference there is that the EX mode goes and has higher difficulty. Then there's also the Chronicle mode, which you can go and unlock additional stages uh, through various missions. And so the missions are objective-based, like going and... Um, I, one of the only one that I've actually looked at was going and getting a one continue clear through a certain zone uh, and I failed but oh well so we're gonna go and play original mode to go and show off the title in four player then you have two various entries you can go and do the default one where you go and proceed to zone selection without changing entry type <laughs> Um, or you can go and play with infinite ships, although you want, your score won't be recorded. So since so we're playing at four player, it just makes sense to go with that one, so that's what we're going to go and do. And then we go and have the awesome traditional Darius Zone Select. So we're going to go ahead and go with easy, and we'll go with Zone A, then we get the choice of the other zones. So my other players are all going to go and click in, and there are a number of ships you can go and choose from. There's the Legend Silverhawk Burst, Next Silverhawk Burst, Origin Silverhawk Burst, Formula, Gaiden Silverhawk, Second Silverhawk, Assault Silverhawk Burst, and the Genesis Silverhawk. So there's a lot of various ships you can go and pick from, and they are actually fairly different depending on what you're going and looking for. Uh, so that being the case, which one should I go and take? We've got the Gaiden, the Legend, and the Formula, so I will take the next. Then here in the loading screen, it goes and gives you a brief summary, unfortunately, in Japanese of what your ship goes and does. But you basically go and can see that you've got uh, how your burst goes and works here. So in the case of the Gaiden one, it's a bomb. In the case of the formula, I'm not really sure what it's that's actually supposed to do. It's just a straight out beam. There's got to be something special about it, though. All I can tell is that it's a straight out beam that's actually pretty powerful and has a pretty wide range, too. All the bombs seem good. Yeah, the bombs do seem really good. And here we go. Zone A of... Oh, that was my burst. So, there's two primary buttons that you go and use in this one. There's just your primary shot and there's your burst, which is recharged through going and... Uh, destroying oh, enemies, true. bullies, and things like that. You missed it. So when you're going and playing four player, one thing that's definitely nice about the way that they went and set this title up is the power-ups go and persist for a moment after one player has picked them up so that everybody else has a chance to go and pick up the same power-up. I grabbed green. I grabbed, uh... Ah. Oh, I, yes! Yes, got, got green in time. Oh, I didn't even get red. You should tell the audience what color you are. Oh, yes. So I'm going and play. playing the red ship. I'm, go I'm going and playing yellow. I'm a blue ship. I I'm the green one that will be dying the least. <laughs> <laughs> Only because you're trying to use this in shield. Yeah, I just hide here in the back and you guys act as my bullet sponges. It works pretty well. Yeah. But what about when enemies go and come from the back? Oh, so another I shoot them. <laughs> no, it, it does happen. Oh, yeah, it happened a couple the, of times. Tell the audience about the backfire. It's yep. pretty awesome. So since this is a super widescreen experience, it's actually possible to go and flip your ship so you can actually go and fire behind you. 
which can go and be useful, especially against some of the bosses as they like to go and circle around back to try and get you that way, as well as these little, I don't know, like ship parts that we're going and blowing up. Until now, the flipping around thing I had only seen in the TurboGrafx-16 shooter, Dead Moon, so I was pretty excited to see that it was in this game, too. It only took, you know, 20 years of, you know, shooter evolution for him to bring that a feature over. It's true, but it's <laughs> definitely not something that's all that common, but there are a few shooters that are, like, multi-direction, directional, that are kind of like that. Warning! A huge battleship, Iron Fossil, is approaching fast. So Iron Fossil here definitely goes and represents probably the most standard design for bosses in Darius history. We go and have the ancient fish like here. Um, and I just want to go and throw a quick shout out just to the music. If you haven't gone and played Darius titles before, uh, definitely at least give the soundtrack a listen. Uh, it's music by Taito's um, in-house audio group, or at least they were back in the day when Taito was a thing. I guess they still technically are just owned by Square Enix. Um, but it's, uh, the name of the particular audio group is Zuntata, and I've always gone and thought that they go and have made incredible soundtracks, especially since the Darius Gaiden era. Mm -hmm. Their Darius soundtracks are definitely some of the best and most unique video game soundtracks that are out there, especially for a shoot 'em up title. They also did the music for uh, Ray Crisis and uh, Ray Storm, and Ray Storm was always one of my favorite subwoofer tests. Tracks. There's some really awesome bass in the music track for that game. Alright, so that battle went really well. Um, zone D or E? We're gonna go Zone D. As in our test run, we went Zone E, so we're actually gonna take a different path this Woo! time around. New things! Into the unknown. A zone is over. We are now rushing into the zone. Be on so your guard. So much of a letdown, though. A zone is over. Yeah, it's true. They don't no have zone as epic as it could be. I have to agree with that one. <laughs> all, all good things must come to an end. <laughs> so, another quick thing to go and note about the power-ups. In the case Ooh. of uh, our playthrough, since we're going and playing with Infinite Continue, or Infinite wow. Lives, as we go and collect power-ups, we actually go and accumulate the power-ups in our various progress bars up top. If you go and collect four of the same power-up and then another one, it actually goes and levels up whatever you happen to go and be powering up at a time. Whether it be your shot, whether it go and be your shield, or whether it go and be your missile bomb, it'll go and level up. So that's definitely a neat feature because you can go and keep on evolving your firepower beyond just what you go and start with. It's not always the same shot, potentially. Um, but in Darius titles where things are life and continue based, it's definitely not as easy to go and continue to go and build your ship up. And then once you have to go and continue, you're back to base power, which is always the kiss of death in any shoot 'em up. So graphically wise, I wouldn't necessarily say this is going and pushing the PlayStation 4 console very much, but as far as shoot 'em ups are concerned, the backgrounds have always gone and been impressive in the later Darius titles. And uh, these spacescapes that we've been going and fighting in are excellent, excellent examples of that. And when, when we fired this up and it says it's the arcade mode, it had the, uh, the title screen and copyright date of the earlier game. Um, the Chronicle mode, though, would that maybe be more advanced in terms of PS4 graphics, you think? That, I don't know. Um, it seems like it's about the same in uh, terms of graphical fidelity, uh, but I definitely plan on going and firing that one up, and um, at this point, I'm planning on going and doing my Saturday video for that, so if you're going and watching this and you're interested in going and seeing CS mode, Come back on Saturday and I'll go and have a uh, fresh video of that posted. So, another thing that's always been really interesting about the later Darius games are the bosses and the really interesting patterns that they go and have to them. Since they usually go and have some really unique cat. I'm not even sure what got me there. Like this Stingray here, for example, is like had those uh, beams that he was going and lancing through the stage with. Fortunately, it seems like our hitbox is actually relatively small, so... 
at the very least, you know, PS4 at least allows it to run in widescreen mode, four players simultaneous, lots of bullets on the screen with no slowdown, which... That's you know, very, is, very true. If it's nothing true. else, at least that's next gen, you know? Yeah, mm -hmm. the, uh, shoot 'em ups like this on older hardware, we're definitely going to have issues with slowdown. Something that'll kill us all. <laughs> that's what he does. <laughs> So, as you go and level up your weapons, some of the enemy shots can be shot down like those lancing yellow shots. Unfortunately, we can go and clear those, so they're less threatening. That's for, it for Stingray. He came, he came oh. forward to say hi, we set a bomb off in his face. That's how you, Wait, that's not how, just a bomb! That's how, you, that's how you greet polite company, you know, just uh, <laughs> set a bomb off on him. He it. tried! <laughs> We're going Zone H. Zone Etchy, everyone! D zone is over. We're now ru no, see, rushing into H zone. D Be zone on your guard. D zone. Ooh, wow, that was kind of the props of Jupiter of in here. Yeah. Hey, 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 yeah. Ah. Ah. So there also appears to go and be a score multiplier in effect, but I've only I'm not hundred percent sure how you actually build that particular gauge up. If you go and look to the right of everybody's score, you can go and see a multiplier. Uh, right now, mine is sitting at a poultry... Oh, whoa, it's going up. Sweet. Oh, I have no idea how, but... <laughs> Points are a good thing. Maybe it's for going and uh, completely defeating waves is when it goes and goes up. And it, it can go as high as at least... I see 24 right now, so... Yeah, it looks like it shows you the color on what your chain is. Yeah. Here we're going and fighting some sort of angler fish. Little bombs that they're leaving. Yeah, angler fish. Does this game have like, you know, the like a score multiplier us. kind of thing for the people that are, you know, very good at those types of, you know, chaining? Well, there's like I'm leaderboards. I'm sure that has to. Must be, yeah. Ooh, orbs. Ooh, blue. Blue. So if there's shields at the top, missiles in the middle. Oh yeah, so the colors of the various power-ups, blue are shields, red is shot, and green are missiles. And there's also um, yellow. There's yellow that goes and shows up. I believe that one's an enemy uh, screen clear. Oh. Oh, that would be why it disappears so fast. Yeah, so, and that's the one that the people that we can't share. Uh, all, share. All because share. Because yeah. it disappears. Okay, that would make sense. How does the shield work? One hit? Um, no, the more advanced the shield goes and gets, the more hits it can go and take. So the green shield, the base level, can take three hits. Uh, the next level up four, five, and then I believe it tops out at six hits. It goes and defends you again, so the more you uh, shield power-ups you go and get, the longer you'll be able to go and survive with it. So... I like how when the shields get weak, kind of like they are right now, they, they get like a frayed look to them. You know, cool. It's like they're ragged around the edges. <laughs> This zone is a lot easier than some of the other paths we took. It's it really definitely, is. definitely it's true. Is but going all the way at the all the way at the top path, we've essentially gone the easiest route that there is in the game. Um, especially going and playing in the EX modes and everything, it gets violent rulers approaching fast. I don't like my rulers. Oh, it's a lobster! Violent. Oh no, wait, that's a crayfish, not a lobster. Crayfish, get right. lobster. Uh, let's see, trial sure bite, sure. whatever the heck it is. Pretty sure it's a crayfish. Pretty sure. don't do that. I'm waiting for him does. to do arc lightning out of his antenna or something. <laughs> yeah. Ah! Missiles! Fortunately, it looks like there all of his shots shot. so we can go and uh, can be shot down. So as long as we stay yeah, we should spread out on a little bit defense, to everything. we're probably in good shape for this guy. So, the particular ship I took, it looks like in burst mode, I can actually go and set my burst laser in a fixed position and kind of just forget about it. Let it do its thing. Oh. I wish I could do that. No, wait, my fault. Oh. I'm actually kind of surprised it's lasted as long as it has. Well, are you doing damage on all the sides? Apparently, Ooh, my uh, uh, gauge is staying full though, so nope, now it's starting to go. Cool. 
The one thing I wish their uh, Darius Bruno! bosses <laughs> had was a life bar. I know you can go and tell how much damage you've gone and done because they experience color changes, um, but that's kind of a hard system to go and really judge. So, truth be told, I have a hard time even going and telling how much damage we've even gone and done to this guy at this point. Purple damage. It's all, it's all about the suspense. You just never know when it's finally going to go up. This kind of a boss is a good one to go and. Oh, uh, I was about to go and think he was going okay. further left, but he came back around. Nope. Anyway, as I was going to say, uh, this kind of boss is a good one to, to maybe go and show off, being able to go and shoot from the other side of the screen. But yeah. He doesn't want to go all that way. No, he really doesn't. Well, some of the others from the route we did earlier would have been great. Oh, I was going to ask, besides capture co-op, does this one also do uh, over the internet co-op? Unfortunately, no, that's not supported at this point. It's uh, local co-op only. Oh, and the uh, co-op version, or the four-player co-op is only available on the oh. um, PlayStation 4 and the Steam version, which goes and releases tomorrow, December 3rd. Huh? Ah. Where's the Arc Lightning? <laughs> you were totally spot on Apparently, about having if you art avoided lighting. the bulb, you didn't get damage. Because I touched the bulb once and I died, you but I had shields. Ah, no, I didn't. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Ah. Or something. Maybe. Love that sound effect from the guidance ship's bombs. Straight out of Darius Guide himself. And he is toast. Nice job. Goodbye, Violent Ruler. We didn't need you. Okay. And the trophy. trophy. At the end, we go and get our final score, which actually is very similar to the score we went and got on our last run through, so that's interesting. And it looks like somebody went and got a trophy going and indicating that they were high score. <laughs> well done. That's definitely Aubrey. <laughs> Do you get a trophy for dying the least? I don't know if I died the least. <laughs> I you didn't all like died often. The Belsar Mothership attack was successfully repelled. But it will never let you forget Let's that you were using free play. Mm -hmm, you will mm -hmm. live with that. That's the constant reminder. <laughs> Battered but alive, the Silver Hawks return to their home planet. I don't know. They don't look too battered in my mind. They look yeah, in pretty they decent look shape. They're kind of shiny. Yeah. You know? they look, not just kind of shiny. They have their boogieing through space. They're like, oh well, yeah. That's <laughs> true. So one I thing I definitely do have to go and say about the Darius series is I just go and love the mech design, especially since we go and have several different. And the warriors sleep until the next battle. We had to abandon our ships because they were so damaged, and yet they look so shiny. <laughs> oh well, it goes and works. It's for the drama. I, I remember in previous Darius games that like the half the time the ending was just a total downer. It's like, well, you killed the last boss, but we nuked the planet anyway, so sorry. <laughs> yeah, you know, good try. <laughs> it is interesting to go and note that that ending is different from the ending that we went and got going and finishing the other route that we went and did. Mm -hmm. So um, that being the case, there are multiple endings to go and be had even in the AC mode. Um, so that being the case, uh, any final thoughts, everyone? I think it's a lot of fun, you it know. Is. It's it's really cool to be able to play a shooter for a player, and it's nice that they're still developing new Darius games and staying consistent to the series legacy, both in terms of the gameplay, but the art style and the uh, same music style and everything like that. Um, my only real critique is I do wish that it at least gave you the option to zoom it and maybe make it a little bigger if you wanted to, because I think we're all squinting a little bit here and there to make out some of the power-ups, but, you know. I think that's definitely a fair criticism. I think it's really strange that only part of the game is translated into English, too, so there's something sort of unfinished feeling about the release. But it has an arcade feel, and it's really fun to be able to put it in your living room and have that, so really fun. I agree. Any thoughts, Sully, since this isn't necessarily the kind uh... of game you have much experience with? <laughs> you did good. Thank you. Um... I liked it a lot. I loved playing it, but I am a music person, so I really want to see if I can find the sheet music and learn how to play it. Yeah, like I was going and saying, Zuntada's soundtracks are always a treat. And, and there's their logo. Indeed it is. Got, I don't know if they have a website, but maybe the soundtrack can be ordered from them. Mm, that would be I fun. I do believe they 
do have a website. Mm. All right. Well, that just about wraps it up. I think everybody summed up my thoughts pretty well on the title, so I'll go ahead and <laughs> <Mind your head. laughs> remember: warning, mind your head when leaving. Ow! <laughs> So yeah, the arcade cabinet. Uh, you would actually sit in the arcade cabinet itself. So when and then you, were you would be it, you would be so out of your mind whenever you're getting ready to leave that you'd hit your head. So they yeah. have to put that. It's so so. <laughs> when leaving your house, do not hit your head. <laughs> you need a new house if that's the case. <laughs> All right. Well, that'll go and wrap up this taste test of Darius Burst. Chronicles Savior, specifically the Another Chronicles EX version 4-player. Thank you so much for coming out and joining me today for this taste test, and look forward to going and seeing some more Darius Burst coverage on Shoot'em Up Saturday this Saturday. Well, till then, we'll go and see you next time. <laughs>